हेलो फिजियोस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आवर चैनल फिजियो विद्यापीठ वी आर बैक विद अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विच इज द मेथड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एस डब्ल्यू डी ओके सो एज यू ऑल नो माई नेम इज विजय कुमार एंड लेट्स जस्ट स्टार्ट द लेक्चर सो फर्स्ट इज द कैपेसिटर और कंडेंसर फील्ड मैथड हेयर वी यूज इलेक्ट्रोड फॉर एस डब्ल्यू डी एप्लीकेशन दैट इलेक्ट्रोड कैन बी पैड इलेक्ट्रोड और इट कैन बी अ डिस्क इलेक्ट्रोड पैड इलेक्ट्रोड ऑल्सो रिक्वायर सम सेपरेशन विच इज डन बाय टॉवल वाइल द डिस्क इलेक्ट्रोड हैव एयर स्पेसिंग ओके एंड द इलेक्ट्रिक लाइन ऑफ फोर्स विच आर पासिंग फ्रॉम दीज इलेक्ट्रोड हैव अ वेरी गुड प्रॉपर्टी दैट इट पास इजिली थ्रू द मटेरियल ऑफ हाई डाई इलेक्ट्रिक एंड अवर बॉडी इज हैविंग वेरी हाई डाई इलेक्ट्रिक दैट इज ए सी सो इट इज वेरी गुड एंड इजी फॉर दिस लाइन ऑफ फोर्स टू पास थ्रू बॉडी एंड गिव हीटिंग इफेक्ट ओके नियस पैरामीटर्स आर नीडेड टू बी डिस्कस दैट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्लेस द इलेक्ट्रोड वट शुड बी द साइज एंड वट शुड बी द पोजिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड सो फर्स्ट इज द साइज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड साइज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड दिस वन इज द नॉर्मल साइज नॉर्मल साइज इन साइज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड वट वी वॉन्ट नॉर्मली साइज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड ई शुड बी स्लाइटली ग्रेटर देन टिश्यू या बॉडी पार्ट टू बी ट्रीटेड आई विल राइट द बॉडी पार्ट बॉडी पार्ट You can see this one, this circle is the body part, and this is the size of electrode. It is just slightly larger than the larger than the size of the tissue. Why? So that so that the electric line of force should go go through the tissue and cause heating. Okay, so this one is normal. so if somebody ask you what should be the normal size of electrode for the swd application you will say it must be slightly larger than the tissue why so that the electric line of force will bend toward the tissue okay you can see they are converging toward the tissue so this one is normal and you can see this second diagram second diagram if the size of the electrode is is large okay this one is large okay this one is large okay large then what will occur you can see some line of force will move out of the tissue why because here the size of this electrode let me just increase it slightly more for better visualization okay so the extra line of force will move out of the tissue out of the tissue which is not good for us and it is reducing the net out here if the size is very large very large you can see how much how much this extra line of forces are getting wasted okay so this is very large and if it will be very small then also there is problem why because if the size of electrode is very small as compared to this tissue this tissue is like this so the line of force will have to have to have to spread in the tissue which will cause less heating which will cause less heating okay and if there is uneven size then also it will put uneven load on load on the swd apparatus why because if the size of electrode is different this one is small this one is large then different amount of charges will be required to charge the electrode so definitely there will be some load on swd apparatus that is the swd machine so it is not good for us so normally or what we want size should be slightly 1 to 2 cm larger than the tissue so that line of forces will bend toward if it is large some will go out if it is very large most of the most of the you can see from here to here wasted here to here line of forces are wasted and if it is very small line of forces will spread in the tissue do not cause concentration of 
line of electric line of forces so less heating will produce and in uneven it will produce it will put uneven load next is electrode spacing electrode spacing normally normally 2 to 4 cm and 4 cm is best okay best wide spacing if the spacing is wide this one is ws wide spacing you can see the distance here is more than 4 cm what will happen here deeper tissue only the deeper tissue will be heat, heated so deeper tissue is having more heat as compared to superficial and this one is narrow spacing narrow spacing here what is happening here superficial tissue is more heated than as compared to the deep tissue and here uneven here is narrow here is wide here is narrow here is wide so narrow so superficial wide so deep will be heated and this is the optimal optimal or the normal okay optimal or normal but it is the it is the 2 to 4 centimeter which is best though here most of the tissue which is heated in is deep but some sort of superficial heating is also seen but in case of very wide spacing only the most of the deep part is stimulated okay or, or heated okay so which is not that good and so the optimal separation is optimal electrode spacing is 2 to 4 cm another important thing under the electrode spacing is that this formula s should be greater than s1 plus s2 s should be greater than s1 plus s2 so what is the s this s it is a distance between the two electrode what is s1 distance of the electrode one with the tissue what is s2 distance of electrode two to the body tissue what we want s should be greater than sum of s1 plus s2 so let us say this is 2 cm, this is 2 cm and we want this big, let us say 6 cm. So if we want to place these two electrodes, it, it should be 2 cm away from tissue, 2 cm away from tissue and these two electrodes itself must have, must have a distance greater than 4, okay, so that S will become large. Let us say we will take it 5 or 6 cm. Why? Because if we do, uh, if we place the electrode like this, then only the electric line of forces will move inside the tissue. But if we will do wrong placement, that is S, what is, this one is here, true, positive. If we do S is less than S1 plus S2, which means this one is 2, this one is 2. So, less than, that is 4. So, here also it is 2. So, what is happening? Electric line of force is moving between the two electrodes, not going through the tissue. So, how can you expect any sort of heating in this particular arrangement? So, now you understand. 2 cm, 2 cm, S1 and S2. Let us add 4, 2 plus 2, 4. What we want? This S should be greater than the sum. 2 plus 2, 4. What is greater than 4? 5 or 6 cm. So, this should be greater than 4. And if it is less than 4, that is 2. So, that electrode are placed very close to each other. No heating will be produced. Why? Because this electric line of force will move just in relation to each other. That is the two electrode. So, no heating will be produced. Okay, so this is important and this can be definitely asked and in the MCQ and that AT which is the dielectric of our body definitely it is asked in MCQ. Next is position of electrode, position of electrode. Let us say this is the body tissue, this is the body tissue. Okay, let me just make this particular diagram more clear more clear okay so here you can see 
you can see that this is tissue, this black one is tissue. This tissue is not straight like this. This is not like this. But rather it is like this. So here the position of electrode should be parallel to tissue like this. One electrode and two electrode which is true here. But here you can see the tissue is like this and the tissue is like this and electrode is like this. Here spacing is different and here spacing is different. So this is wrong placement. Okay. Wrong placement. So you need to understand normally. Let me write it with blue. Parallel. Okay. One word. Sir, parallel. Okay. Parallel placement is used. So this is about the three points regarding the capacitor or condenser field method. Okay. Size, spacing and position. And now we will study about different method of placement of electrodes. Now we will study about methods of electrode positioning. Okay. So first is the coplanar method. In the coplanar method, the two electrodes are placed side by side. Okay. They are placed side by side. Such that, such that this S is greater than S1 plus S2. Okay. So you need to focus on this point here. Okay. And it is used for uh, back. Okay. When you are using the SWD for low back pain. Okay. Or some sort of condition which is dealing with our trunk muscles. Okay. So this is coplanar. Here less deep heating is is seen as compared to contraplanar. So we can say it is a weak method as compared to contraplanar method or crossfire method. Okay. So here is the here is the uh, side by side arrangement of electrode. In the contraplanar method, either we can use the electrode anteriorly and posteriorly or medially and laterally. So this is knee joint, one electrode is placed at medial side, other at lateral side. Or you can use it for shoulder joint, one at anterior and one at posterior part. Okay, so this is contraplanar method. Okay, and it is having more heating, that is more deep heating as compared to coplanar. So it is a very good method. Next is the crossfire method. It is, it is same as contraplanar, but we use it two times. That is, let us say this is a sinus. This is a sinus. Okay. Uh, sinus. Patient is suffering from sinusitis. So first we placed it medial and lateral, then at anterior and posterior. Okay. So here we do both the things. In contraplanar, Either we use medial lateral or anterior posterior. But in crossfire, you will use medial lateral for half time, then for anterior posterior for the second half time. Why? So that a more uh, circumferential heating, okay? Circumferential, so that the deep heating occur from all the side of the tissue. Or you can use it combined, medial lateral and anterior posterior together also okay for heating the deep tissue so it is best method of swd application last is uh, and it is also it is used for burger disease why because in burger disease which affect the blood vessel and that blood vessel is very deep very deep so we need to treat it like this in two direction or we apply four electrode as such okay next is the Monoplanar method. Monoplanar method, here only one electrode is used for very small area such as tennis elbow. Second electrode, either we will place it at side or we can place it at cervical or thoracic spine. Okay. So that is a very weak method and less amount of heating occur in this particular method. So these are the four method of, of placement of electrode under the capacitor or condenser field method. So now we are done with the first method. First method was capacitor or condenser field. We studied about uh, placement, size, position and method of arrangement or method of electrode 
positioning now we will study about another method in the next lecture okay which is cable method also known as inductothermy till then you keep on study thank you to one and all